Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Fat Vegan Chef. Today I'm going to be making something that I have been wanting to make for a very long time, but for some reason I've been putting it off. I had paella when I was in Spain and I really fell in love with it. And I recently had one of those frozen vegan paella entrees and I shared my experience with my fans on Instagram at The Fat Vegan Chef. Several of my followers encouraged me to go ahead and make it. So with their encouragement, I'm gonna make it for you today. And today I'm going to be making a vegan version of this and I'm gonna to try to make it as authentic as I can while keeping it vegan. So I hope it is as authentic as what you would get in Spain. And I'm making this paella today with rice and a paella pan that I bought when I was visiting Spain. And you can find a link to some of the rice and a pan at thefatvegachef.com if you want to try to make this at home. So go to thefatvegachef.com to find the recipe and a lot more information there. So let's go ahead and find out what we're going to need to make this dish. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a knife, cooking spoon, and a paella. Now let's go ahead and go over the ingredients that we're going to need to make this dish. First thing you'll need is three tablespoons of Spanish extra virgin olive oil, two packages of vegan chicken that's been roughly diced, and I use two different brands just for different textures. I use the Guardian and the Beyond Meat vegan chickens. One block of tofu that's been frozen, thawed, squeezed, and diced. Four cloves of garlic, two tomatoes that's been diced fine, one can of artichoke hearts, one half can or one half package of frozen butter beans, one half package of frozen green beans, one pepper that's been roasted, peeled, and finely diced, and if you need to know how to do that, I have a recipe at thefatbeanchef.com that will show you how to roast peppers and other vegetables. One package of no chicken broth, one teaspoon of sea salt plus to taste, one half teaspoon of Spanish paprika, one half teaspoon of smoked paprika, and I included the smoked paprika because paella is usually cooked over an open fire, so I wanted to add a little bit of smokiness to it to give it that taste. A good pinch of Spanish saffron. And the saffron that I found is this. Actually, what I like about this particular saffron is it was produced in the Valencian region where paella comes from. So I figured this is probably going to ensure that it comes close to the original. Four sprigs of thyme and one sprig of rosemary. Two cups bomba rice. I picked this up in Spain and this is what it looks like. So if you find something like this in your local market, pick it up. Look for bomba rice, look for rice that is designed for paella. It is a short grain rice. You also need a red pepper that's been cut in strips and this is for garnish. And also a lemon that I have cut in wedges. And if you drink alcohol, these are the wines that I suggest drinking with your paella. They're both from Spain. They're really good wines. I enjoy these wines. Now that we know what tools and ingredients we'll need to make this dish, go ahead and pause the video, gather up the tools and ingredients that you need, and I will meet you back over at the stove when you are ready. Welcome back, everybody. I've got my paella pan heating up on medium, medium high. I'm gonna add the three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna add the two packages of roughly diced vegan chicken. One package of diced tofu, four garlic cloves, and I'm going to cook this until things start to become nice and golden brown. They've started to brown nicely, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the vegan chicken and tofu to the sides of the pan. Now I'm going to add the roasted red pepper, diced tomato, and these are one each. One half package of frozen butter beans, one half package of frozen green beans, one half teaspoon of Spanish paprika, one half teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm gonna let these cook. I've let the beans cook for a little while 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my no chicken broth and I'm going to give this a good shake. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this because it should take the whole container but if not we need to know that because the ratio of rice to vegetable stock is two to one two cups of vegetable stock to one cup of rice so if this doesn't take the full four cups we're going to have to reduce our rice as well so there's two cups and there is four cups so it did take the entire four cups. I've added in my vegetable stock. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the rosemary and the thyme. And that was one sprig of rosemary, four sprigs of thyme. Now I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I am going to reduce it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about an hour. So I will see you back here in an hour. Let this simmer for an hour. I'm going to go ahead and add in a couple pinches of Spanish saffron, one teaspoon of sea salt. Give this a little bit of a stir. Now I'm going to add the two cups of rice. Stir this in. You also want to add in your can of artichoke hearts. Now what we're going to do is bring this up to a boil. And once it's at a boil, I'll bring it down to a simmer and let it cook for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up to medium high. What we're going to do is make the socarrat, which is the brown on the bottom. And we want to pay very close attention to the rice, listen to it, and smell it. When you first start to smell that, the rice toasting, we're going to shut off the heat. And we're going to let it sit for five minutes. This is what the paella is going to look like when it's done. I have garnished it with the remaining roasted red peppers and the lemon wedges. So now just what you want to do is just take your spoon, make sure you get stuff from the bottom, and put it on a plate. Just like that. Be sure to serve it with a lemon wedge. And then what you want to do right before you eat is squeeze the top with some lemon juice and then just eat it just like that. And as you can see, I have a little bit of browned rice on the, from the bottom in there. Gives it that nice flavor. And they call that Sakarat. Now you can also serve this with some wine. I have some Spanish wine here. Some red and some white. Your choice. Definitely you want to serve Spanish wine with this. Not that Italian wine stuff. There you go. I gave you your choice of red and white. Doesn't that look good? If you liked this recipe, please find The Fat Vegan Chef at Patreon and donate a coffee or beer a month to keep us going. You can find other ways of donating by going to tfvc.org forward slash donate. Also subscribe to be notified of new content. Go to tfvc.org forward slash sub to sign up. That's tfvc.org forward slash sub, S-U-B. Also feel free to follow us at your favorite social media site. Just look for The Fat Lady and Chef. Don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family as well. Now I must go because this paella is calling my name. Adios. Adieu per ara.